Yes, I, all praising King King Sola Sicha Ras Tuforai. Each and every day, in every way, we praise His name. Glory be unto the Father. Yes, the Master. He gives I and I command to walk straight, avoiding all wicked. Observing. The legacy of righteousness, Rastafari. You know, Marcus Mosiah Garvey, being born this month, said, The world is run on bluff. This is no more evident today than ever. The, the British are gasping for air simply because they have very limited natural resources. They depend on the rest of the planet for their development and always have. Evidently, they have uh, little human resources as well, and this is why the African slave trade existed and still exists through mass incarceration. So, the United States is a vehicle to extract those resources that are necessary for the British to continue ruling. And the, and the British aren't alone. The French, the uh, Germans, although perhaps the Germans to a lesser degree today, the Italians, the Western so-called what they call themselves as Western nations are being grouped although Britain is at the head now what are we dealing with folly the pedophile again to reiterate his role is to be the body bag. He's to take the blow for the team. I believe that this deep state or Illuminati, or whatever you want to call it, there is a body of individuals that are members of the ruling class and this is old money they have collected so much dirt on the pedophile Trump that at this point he's at their behest otherwise he takes the risk of some of this dirt being exposed, which means he might, if, you know, their law is followed, end up in jail for the rest of his remaining days on this earth. So, he's a puppet, yet an involuntary one. He, he made an attempt to frighten the people and uh, he has failed because you've got more people disrespecting this office than ever. Uh, Babylon won't dispute this. But the Babylon is so stuck in their ways that uh, they are determined to uh, see this to the end. Um, you know, 
perhaps they have a change of mind to keep this fella in place, try to ride it out, um, which, you know, really, it, it, before his existence in this role, people would be appalled at, and yet it doesn't seem so bad today because everything they have is crumbling. You see? Just like um, I read when uh, the pedophile was elected, Iran has said, well, this is good because this is the face. Finally, we see the face of the United States. I wouldn't disagree. This character represents the people that put him in to place. That's not the voting body. And even as the Babylon has come to demonstrate that the Russians hacked the system. Well, <laughs> I say Russians in quote, is what does it really mean anymore to be a part of one nation or the other? You can still be a hireling. And so, either way, it's been declared that the uh, election was not done normally, right? And like, when you have an election, if you have like, you know, faulty numbers, I would believe that that constitutes illegitimacy, um, unless we live in the United States. So, we're dealing with a big lie, you know? The pedophile is gonna turn everyone back to the institutions that have failed everyone. The latest one being insurance. Oh, now he's against insurance companies. So, everyone's supposed to go, you know, I, I hated the insurance. My insurance doubled, real story. You know, since I lived in my house, it's supposed to go down. But see, on the side note, the insurance is linked to whatever other information they have of you. And if you are not aligned with the Babylonians, philosophically, then they will do what they can to hurt you. Placing sanctions via the insurance company is one way. Now, speaking of sanctions, I recently hear, you know, the United States is placing sanctions on Russia. For what? For hacking the election. 